For number two, they're asking you to find domain. Now there's different versions that I put here on the sample test. So you want to make sure you know how to do all three of these different versions. So have a look at the key and make sure you understand the process for doing other ones. It may not necessarily look like this one. You might have a square root in there, top or bottom somewhere. So you want to make sure you know how to do those as well. But for this one here, uh, we don't have any square roots. Um, but when we look at domain, you're talking about what values will make the function uh, defined. In other words, what values for x will not result in division by zero and not result in square root of a negative number. I'm just going to indicate what x values are okay to put in here to where I won't get an error or anything in my calculator. So with this, because I have a uh, rational right here, I have a fraction, you're going to take the bottom and you know the bottom is not allowed to be equal to zero. So first I'm going to set the bottom equal to zero to figure out if there's any values that will make this undefined. So that's what I'm going to do x cubed plus 16x. I'm going to set that equal to 0. I'm going to look for a common factor I can pull out here. That's going to be an x and I get x squared plus 16 equals 0. And then what I'll do is set both of them equal to 0. So I already know one of my answers is going to be x is equal to 0. Now the other one I'm going to take x squared plus 16 and I'm going to set that equal to 0. So if I try and solve for this one I get x squared is equal to uh, negative 16 and then I'm going to attempt to take the square root of both sides of that. So if I do the square root I get plus or minus the square root of negative 16 but the problem with that is I get a imaginary number for that part. So because I get an imaginary number here uh, that means that it's actually not possible for that to happen. So our domain we never have to worry about uh, any kind of imaginary numbers on this. So because of that, what that says is there's not a real number that allows this particular part uh, to equal zero. If you think it might be four or negative four, remember there's a plus sign here, so if you put four negative four in there, negative four squared will give you a positive result, so that's why negative four does not work. Therefore, it looks like the only number that we're not allowed to use here is gonna be zero. All other numbers, it's gonna work. So we need to write our answer in interval notation to express every number except for zero. So we're going to do negative infinity to zero, and then we're going to do zero to infinity. So we're including all the numbers before the zero, all the numbers after the zero, but we're not including zero itself. So you want to also make sure on this problem that you know how to write numbers, write answers in interval notation. So we're including all the numbers except for zero.